In this video, we're going to learn how we can add stock for our material codes. Now, why we need to add the stock? Let me tell you that first and then I'll show you how we can add up the stock. So earlier we have seen this um, sales order cycle where we have seen that uh, first we create the sales order and then we start the shipping process where we create first delivery and then we go through the picking and finally we goods issue the uh, the stock or the material from our warehouse. So at this step where we goods issue, we need to have some stock in the plant. If you, if you have zero stock, uh, then system will throw an error that goods issue can't be completed and you won't be able to complete this step. So in order to for all the sales order cycle, if you want to complete the, uh, this cycle to go through all the transaction in your system, then you must add stock for the material. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, there are two there are different ways to check the stock, but um, you can use these two transactions to check the stock in your plant. Um, one is MD04 and another one is MB52. Now these are MM transaction and they are uh, also as for HANA apps as well where you can uh, display the stock. But just for this purpose, I'm just showing you the GUI uh, transaction code so that it will be quick. And uh, how to add the material stock? Now again, there are different ways to add up the stock. Um, one is MI10 transaction where you can add the stock. And there's another transaction called MyGo which is for goods shipped where you need to select the goods shipped others and select the movement type 501. So let me show, show you both of them. So let me go to the system. So here if I go to um, if I go to MI10 transaction, here enter your plant. So that's my plant and store location and then press enter. And here uh, I will enter my material code. For example, in my case, I'll select drum and maybe I'll select drum 80, 80 liters. And then I'll select enter the quantity here, what, whatever quantity you want to use. So just enter a big number so that you don't need to add up the stock again and again. So for now, I'll enter say 1000 uh, stock for this material code within my plant. So if I save it, now I'm getting an error that drum code uh, material drum 80 STS4 does not exist. So that means, um, let me see this message. Maybe I did not create the store location data, I guess. So let me select a different material code. So let me select, say, 50. Instead of 50, I'll select 70 for now. It's saying difference amount is too high. At the bottom, there's a message here. So that is coming from the what is set up in the customizing. So, but for now, let me select something else. Let me say, again, depending on customizing, how much difference you can add. Now there's an error here when I enter 100 quantity, I'm getting some error, which is FICO customizing related error, which is a very, very common error. Um, you can Google for this error and you can fix it yourself. But in this case, if it doesn't work in MI10 in your case, then um, which is missing uh, FICO customizing, then we can use the other transaction MIGO MIGO, which is for goods shipped for the purchase order. So here, make sure you from the drop down you select goods shipped, and here you select others. Now in your screen you might see that this is you can see this this is the header I can close it, and this is the item I can close it as well. So or I can open the header and I can also open the detail at the bottom. So make sure you can, you open the bottom one, which is the uh, material detail. So here I will enter my material. So here I'll enter my material, say my material code is, uh, not materials, I'll say my code is drum 70. Press enter. And then in the next tab, you select, go to the quantity type. So how much you want to add up the stocks? So I'll say 200, for example and where so where we need to enter the uh, plant make sure you have the you select the movement type 501 here which is received without purchase order now there are different movement types you don't need to worry about it so make sure you just have 501 
so that you won't get any error so here i'll select my plant sts4 and also i'll select my store location which is prod it's not showing anything so let me manually enter it press enter str od prod enter and here stock type make sure this is unrestricted by default should be unrestricted but make sure this is uh, unrestricted nothing else uh, you should be able to see here and that's it there is also partner tab account assignment tab don't worry about it so when you have entered this data then you can click on i will open the header data as well just want to show you something if i click on check it will check and make sure if there's any error or not now in this case i'm getting a message that document is okay and there's a green light here that means everything is okay now either i can click on post or i can save it they're both doing the same job so that will add up the stock um, also um, here if you get any sort of error like um, uh, which is saying posting period or something that means you need to you need to fix a posting period using the mmpb transaction which i discussed earlier in one of the uh, org data customizing video so make sure mmpv is a transaction for any posting period related error so in this one everything looks good i will i'll say post when i click on post system will throw me an asset message at the bottom i can I will click on the message here that material document is posted so here i'll close it now i will show you the stock here so if i go to md04 two transaction i'll show you to show the stock if I go to MD04 and here I'll enter my code, just I use um, drum 70 and my plant. So here you can see we got 200 stock that I just entered. So that should be enough for me to use this code in the sales transaction. And even if I want to post the goods issue. Other transaction code is MB52. I'll show you this one as well. Here you enter your material code, plant and put storage location and execute that here you can see also that the stock is 200 and that's a unit of measure and that's a dollar value of the stock so this transaction md04 is very very common transaction that you can use to see the stock so that's how you can see the stock and make sure before you start the sales transaction make sure you add up the stock um, and then we'll go ahead so thank you very much to watch this we'll catch up in the next video